including the bridging program. And the process. Geraldine is a Filipino nurse who has more than 20 years of experience working abroad before coming to Canada. But it can be very costly for internationally educated nurses like her to become a registered nurse here. One international educated nurse will spend around uh, 20000 to 30000 for the cost, everything. That's why she is glad that the government will now simplify the pathway for IENs. Filipino-Canadian lawmaker Mabel Elmore said British Columbia will now streamline the process to make it easier for IENs to practice in the province. Uh, we've taken a number of steps to uh, streamline uh, the regulatory assessment. It's quite complicated to um, remove financial barriers by providing bursaries, um, also to add personal supports uh, to help uh, internationally educated nurses navigate through the system. Elmore, who has for years been pushing for support for the nurses, said more than $12 million in funding will be used in part to launch a triple-track assessment process where only one application is needed to assess if an IEN can be a registered nurse, a licensed practical nurse, or a healthcare aide. If they're a registered nurse and they meet the level of licensed practical nurse or um, they're able to, to work in uh, the healthcare setting, uh, under that designation, and but still continue to uh, pursue their accreditation as a registered nurse, but they're able to start working uh, while they're also processing uh, their credentials. $9 million from the funding will be used to offer bursaries to 1,500 IENs to help pay for the costs of assessment, skills evaluation, language, and education. Elmore said IENs can apply for these bursaries, which range from $1,500 to $16,000 through Health Match BC starting next month. The province will also get nursing navigators to guide IENs on the processes, help them get jobs, and answer their questions. I'm ha really happy with this program and uh, hope that we can see um, many IENs uh, availing and um, moving through the system more quickly. The Philippine Embassy and various nurses groups welcomed the new government initiative. I'm very happy whenever an advantage or a special privilege are given to internationally educated nurses. 16,000 is really a great help. I think the government started listening. It's a good day for all the IENs that has been struggling, you know, especially those moms, single moms or moms working, uh, Tim Hortons and wants to working as a, as, a, as a care aide and now on the school as well, becoming, uh, becoming a nurse here. But BC Nurses Union Coordinator Walter Lumamba also asserts more still needs to be done for the foreign educated nurses in Canada. We we'll still continue advocacy because until these nurses will work with us in the floor, we're still not content because we need nurses really. Rowena Papasin, ABS-CBN News, Vancouver. <laughs>